Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. It is Wednesday the 22nd. I just need to correct myself as well because when we were vlogging at the studio the other day I said it was the 20th. It weren't, it was actually the 19th so I do apologise. But these days are just like going so fast that we just forget what date it is. Well I do and I hardly ever look at my phone to check the date or the day even. Um, but anyway, it is Wednesday and we're going to head over to a play light centre with Aurora this morning just because she doesn't really get out of the house that much and because she's been quite poorly, mm -hmm. we've been trying to keep her indoors mm -hmm. as much as we can. As you noticed when we went to the studio the other day, I left a coat on her just so it kept like all the heat in. Um, but yeah, she seems to be a lot better today. So, I'm going to head over... Hopefully it's still open actually because I can't remember whether I spoke to someone the other day that said it was shut So we're just gonna head there and see if it is. I should imagine it is because I, I don't know whether they were talking about that one or not um, <coughs> But it's like a play center in Ashton We've been with the kids before but it's more it's based more for babies than it is like for the older ones now then hopefully we're going to Junkyard golf on Sunday which is going to be really good because we've not been there. It's actually, it's really funny this because it's it's based, it's like a club that you could go to on a weekend um, and it's got a bar and everything. So it's basically over 18, but between Sunday and Thursday they open it for kids and it's about £8 to go and I think you get like an hour, which is really good. So I'm looking forward to going there, never been before. So the kids I hope the kids are gonna enjoy it it should be good but yeah we just thought we'd go and check some new place out see what they like you know because if we like it then we can always go back again and they do do kids parties and stuff there as well um, I think it's in the week only though because I think Friday nights you can hire it as a venue as long as it's like eight to or a hundred of you and it works out like 1,000 and summit, which is really good if you just want like something different for a birthday. So definitely go and check it out if you are looking for something like really unique and not the same as the same old, same old. Anyway, we're going to head over there. Otherwise, we're not going to have much time because we only have two hours and Dave has to bring me back to go and pick the kids up. So we'll check in with you when we get to the play centre. Okay, guys, so we just got to Ram Twist, it's called. In Ashton, if you've not been here or you live in the Manchester area, then you can come here with your kids. But yeah, it's got a rover on it, see if it's got no steering wheel. So. Yeah, See, that's what happens when you're in Manchester, Aurora. Yeah. They even rob you. You end up with no tyres or no steering wheel. Do you like it though? Well, you might that, get that for your birthday. Convert, yeah. Ah. <laughs> you're the knife. Oh, you've got an orange. <laughs> might get one of these for a birthday. That's what I just said. Mum's don't, deaf. Don't want these for your birthday. It's a knife. Obviously, one with the steering wheel. Yes. <laughs> Where are you we going? We have got one at home though, haven't we? Yeah, it's a red one, but it's hanging. It's outside. In fact, it's alive. Yeah, it needs car show. We've got a car show at all them toys outside this week. Look at how garden, she loves it. So we come to this one because it's a bit more kid friendly. Well, there's a lot more stuff for babies than there is like for the grown ups. When we go to the other one, like Tumbles near us, it's more for grown up kids than it is for like Aurora's age. There is a section that is really good, but none of the toys work. And that's why we've come here because look, they actually work. So I got sick and tired of taking her in there and every time we took her in, none of the stuff worked. So she was just getting like real tired and bored of it. And I'll just show you around there because there's so much stuff for babies and in, like up to any age really to like four or five. This is why we really like coming here. And this is where I've had loads of parties in it for like when the girls were growing up and Liam and stuff. Um, just quickly, it is Liam's 19th birthday today. So I'll go, I'm going to be going and seeing him later on. I've just ordered him a tracksuit. He wants a tracksuit and he wants some trainers. So just ordered him a Nike tracksuit, which was almost 100 quid. And he just wants a pair of trainers, which are like 80, 90 pounds. So I've just got him that for his birthday. And then I'm taking him out in a couple of weeks because he's not spent his Christmas money yet. Um, so we're going to do that, but because he's been in college and then they were just like all over the show at Christmas, so we just haven't had time and he's not really decided what he wants yet. So, 
we're gonna go out and just have like a mum and son day. Probably go to town or Ashton or somewhere like that. But yeah, let me just show you around here just so you can see like how good it is. So as you can see over here, this is all gated off. There's a gate here that's got like a lock that comes over so the babies can't get out. So they're isolated into this space. But if you look around, so you've got like chairs and push chairs and stuff that you can put babies in if they're like really tiny and you don't want them to get like trod on and stuff like that. Then there's this like um, block section which is like big pieces of Lego that they can play with to build which is really good. And you get your table here. Um, like I said, you've got your chairs and your pushy chairs and wheelers and walkers and stuff. And then you've got this section here, which has got a big slide. Well, I say a big slide. It's a big slide to a baby. Obviously not to grown, grown bigger kids even. Um, and then there's like a tube here that they can crawl through. And then there's a ball pit. But if they're a little bit older, then they can climb up this part go through the little wheelie things, climb up, come down the slide and then they've just got loads of different toys. The only thing I think I've found in here that don't work is this, so maybe they don't know that the batteries have gone, but basically everything else works. And then they've got a little kitchen so they can do kitchen time, but yeah, oh, they've got a little buggy in here, might take this out because you might like playing with this. What's this baby? I think that's your buggy as well. Everything's here that you've got. Look. Oh, where's a baby? We need to find a baby now. Can we find a baby? That'll do. Just put that monkey in. I'll put Pluto in. Oh, Pluto in. Yeah, yeah, look. Aurora, look. We've got Pluto in the buggy. She's not even interested. Look. What's this? This is the same buggy as yours, is it on? Ooh! Yay! Oh, is that Pluto? Who's that? Look, here's your bugger. She's not interested, she's mo more interested in chewing that book. Aurora has this thing at the minute where she's just like obsessed with eating paper and eating books and well basically anything that can go in her mouth she'll just eat it. She'll sit there for hours just chewing on a book. Um, but yeah we're just gonna stay here, play for a bit. Gonna, we've just ordered some food, me and Dave, because we haven't had no dinner yet and it's quite nice just to have a chill, just have something to eat, let Aurora play and then go on because uh, what you're putting in your mouth you I don't think so. See you know what I mean? She finds anything anywhere. Paper. Yes, you're so cheeky. What were you doing? I know. We'll get you some books. Yeah, do you remember them? Didn't yeah. Vanellope have some? It's like a big, it's got like four pages in it. Yeah, it's white in it usually. It's, it's, it's got but foam in I'm it. I'm sure um, Vanellope had one it's, when she was a baby. Even these little small books, you can't really bite them with thick cardboard. Oh, she can. She actually can. She can eat anything. Can't you? Where are you going? I got my eye on you. Oh, look, you're the taxi as well. The taxi? Oh, yeah. What's she gone to? Is that somebody's bag there?
So we're just sat here playing with Aurora and it's like going down memory lane looking at all these toys because the majority of them that are here are like what we used to buy for Oscar and Alfie and Porsche. So this buggy here, oh no, it's over there. Pass me that, babe. Sorry, I've just sold an helmet on Amazon. Sold an helmet on that Amazon? A biker scout helmet on Amazon. The first time I've ever sold anything on Amazon. How oh, else? First for everything, just pass me that buggy. Do you know how much they've took? Sorry. 20 quid? They've took 20 quid off you? Yeah, they've, they've took £19.82. Jesus. Don't sell on Amazon anymore. What? I don't recommend it. Pass me that, please. Just put it there. So I'll turn it around. Anyway, this bugger, or like it's called my first trolley. Well, the doll that you've seen in previous vlogs that we got poor show when she was uh, younger. Let me correct you. Grandma got her. Yeah, Grandma got and the, the and this. bugger. No, we got the doll. Yeah, sorry, Grandma. Grandma got, got the bugger. Um, well, Aurora stood at it now, so you won't be able to see it. But sure. this one. Yeah. And it's plays two. This, but this was, was this by Fisher Prices? This is, this is the updated one. Yeah, so, and then this is the updated version of that. So you can like see the difference. This has been really made there. more like a princess, hasn't it? Yeah. But it's still cute, this, I miss this. <laughs> and then what else was there? We had something similar to this, but they used to have in here, do you remember that, um, the, the tunnel that we had for Porsche and she used to crawl through it? Yeah. Well, they, they had that in here last time we came in, but I can't see it now, so I don't think they've got it anymore. But there was these like little Tonka cars, these, we had millions of these, what we used to have for Alpha. Like, you just couldn't, you kept tripping over them, we had that many. Um, we used to have something similar to this, what we had for Porsche, but it was pink, obviously. Because at the time when we had Porsche, I had everything pink, like I keep doing with Aurora. Only some things they don't do in pink, which is stupid. Like most of them come in this like unique colour, don't they? Like the green, the blue, and the orange. But they do do some stuff in the pink, which they shouldn't. They should do it all. I think they should do it in that colour, and then they should have a blue and a pink option, shouldn't they? Just because if you no, oh, just because if you're doing a room and you've got like a blue theme, then something like that, well, you probably get away with that because it's got blue in it, but. It would be nice, but like a lot of people like to colour coordinate stuff now, like pink and white and greys. They should just like give you the option to buy it in whatever colour you want. Um, I'm sure Porsche used to have this as well. This mirror. I can't remember that. Do you remember it? Yeah, I do actually now. She used to sit there looking at herself, didn't she, for ages? Or kissing herself. Who's this? Aurora? Look! Baby, look. Oh, look, there's the zoo. No, oh, what do you want? Oh, what do you want? It's not your nose. Do you want this? Oh, there's a dinosaur. And that's a elephant. That's an elephant. Yay. You're just going to bite it strong, aren't you? Do you remember this? We had this as well. We had this, didn't we? There's something else in here as well that she had. What was it now? There's so many things in here. She used to have some that's very similar to this. She used to have this, but do you remember it was pink and white? Um, and she had something like that when the balls were down the mouth and crap. Yeah, we had that. Do you remember? We had it in. I think that was in pink. Yeah. Pink and white. Do you remember? Yeah. Like pink, purple, and white, I think it was. And you used to put a ball in it and it used to roll roll down and come out here. Remember it had, it had pink balls, didn't it? Who had the, what's it called? The, um, the My Little Pony, is that Vanellope? What was it? It spat balls out the top of it. it oh yeah. That was, yeah. Was going to yeah. get hurt, did it go down? Yeah. Oh, Might get that for a birthday as well. Um, it was real good, that. And then we've had all the stuff like this. Like for the the older kids when they were little, they used to have all these because this was the only kind of things they used to have out when they were smaller. There wasn't like loads of options for toys and games and stuff like that. I mean, they did have tables and stuff, but not as good a quality as what they are now. 
What else is in here? There's so many things in here. She's just loving it. We used to have something similar to this. It's not the same, but... Um, I think Alpha used to have this fire engine. Fire station, even. It is so good in here. Alfie's had this. I've got a picture of him somewhere. If we can find it, I'll upload it. Um, we used to have this. We've had all the toys. <laughs> we've literally had all the toys. Anyway, we've only got a little bit left, so well, a bit, bit of time left, and then Dave needs to take me home. But she's loved it in here, and it only cost a pound to bring them in. And we usually go over to Tumbles. It's like three pound fifty and none of the toys work so to come somewhere for a pound and everything work is just amazing so we're just gonna play for a little bit oh do you remember this who remembers this from the olden days the olden days say it like i'm like really old but you know <laughs> what i mean like from when we were kids that's like a long time ago but i used to have this phone if any of you had this phone leave us a comment on Instagram or Facebook because um, you can't do it on YouTube not yet anyway but yeah I'm gonna love you and leave you until in a bit and then we'll check in with you once the kids come home and we were gonna go to the studio because I've been looking to get um, the giant what's it called like the giant outdoor games but we wanted the connect for and a couple of others that we're going to use that are all reserved part are just for the older kids because there's not really going to be much there for the baby for, for them it's going to be mainly for babies um so just why i've got a couple of games for the older kids you could just have a laugh and joke together but i've been like messaging everybody this morning saying oh have you got it have you got it and it's like i didn't really want to go out and buy it till summer um but then when i looked on the internet it was only like 12 pounds so it's just a bargain to have so i think i'm going to just get them all because a lot of people do it now where they get all the selection and just hire it out um, for the day because a lot of people don't like to buy it or don't have anywhere to store it but I just thought it'd be a really good idea and then it's always there for a vile part at the studio and stuff like that but yeah anyway just thought i'd let you know that aurora's decided that she's gonna rip some paper up hey <laughs> what are you doing you do know you'll have to pay for that, don't you? You do know you're going to have to pay for that. You have to pay to eat here, you know. Anyway, say bye to everybody. Are you going to say bye? Bye. Bye, everybody. Say bye. Say bye, guys. Bye guys. Say bye guys. No? Okay, don't know. What's this? Tommy and Aurora are gonna go from it. Well, try. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, this way. You want to go this way? What are you trying to do? You can't stand up under there. <laughs> you can't stand up under there. Come on. Come on. I've got to get you. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Can you do it? Wow, come on. Come on. <laughs> Yay! Go, 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 go! You so clever! Come on, quick! This way! Come on! 
Come on. Oh, you're coming. Come on, the Calvinca. Come on. Uh, yes, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Yeah, the Calvinca. Hi. Hi. Where you been? Hi, the boo. Hi, the boo. Mom. Watch your head, babe. <laughs> Yay! Now, just a little quick update. I went to um, my studio today, the workspace, the, the the hub, star killer base, as I call it. And while I was there, I spoke to the, it's like the unit manager, so he runs all of the unit. And people are now starting to ring the unit manager, asking him if I do own the business in there and if it's operating. And this has been going on for like a week now. Can I just say, just really quickly, if you're that desperate to want to know what I do, I'll see you. we have a website where you can book in, make an appointment, come to Manchester, come into the studio, sit down, have a brew, and talk armour, or helmets, or blasters, or anything else that you want for your cosplay needs. Now, the second thing that I want to address really quickly was, People have all also been asking if I own the license to produce props from said studios. Well, props, unfortunately, or fortunately for me, but unfortunately for you people who want to try and get one over on me, whoever you are, whatever time and energy you want to waste onto it, um, you need to look up industrial design because that category drops into my category of what I do. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to say that just before I go and get the kids from school because ringing up the actual place that we operate the business from is ridiculous i mean people have really got no lives whatsoever and it's now starting to become very very cringy but it's also humbling as well because you know me i enjoy people that that like to engage in well me because it just shows me that you're obsessed with me so i just thought i'd leave it there yeah if you want to make an appointment you can do on the website there's um, a form on there that you can fill out we can get back to you and we can let you know if you want to come and have an appointment with us or not so yeah if you want to come down i'll be happy to see you show you around and we could talk um we could talk shop by sheer coincidence all right guys it's a little later in the afternoon i'm going to end today's vlog fortunately aurora has got She's got like a really red ear, so we're going to get checked out by the doctors. It's just another one of them things we take her out she gets poorly. To be honest with you, I think I've said this over and over again, and Sarah said it as well. We're getting really, really annoyed with the fact that she just never seems to be better. She's always smiling and giggling and stuff like that. That's just because of her character, the way that she is. She's always dead bubbly, she's always smiling, but she's constantly grabbing at her ear again now. We've looked inside her ear and it's red and inflamed, so I'm sure Sarah's going to catch up with you tomorrow and let you know exactly what's going on because we've got booked into the doctors at half 11 in the morning so until then do not forget to smash the like button subscribe if you're not already make sure you click the notification bell it does nothing make sure you leave us a comment if you can which you can and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day